goals versus commitments. We're all told to have goals, write them down, put them in a place that we could see them every day. That is in fact good and healthy and it can help you. However, that's where most people stop and goals are really just the beginning. We must also develop commitments to fulfill that goal. The commitments are your blueprint, your actionable steps on how you'll fulfill that goal. And I'm gonna break both of them down and kind of show you what they both look like and how you might be missing out on a lot, lot of opportunities if you don't also incorporate commitments. So goals might look like this. Well, I wanna purchase three new deals this year. Uh, I wanna make a million dollars. I want to maybe lose 20 pounds, spend more time with my family. And that's all great. We can write these down and we can read them every day, but what are we gonna do about it? We need to develop an action plan. So if we had a goal to purchase three new deals, our commitments might look like this. Well, I'm gonna make 50 cold calls a day, send out 500 letters a week. I'm going to nurture potential leads and connect with wholesalers, brokers, sellers. Now we have actionable steps on how to fulfill a goal. And there's actually a mental transformation that takes place and our brain can more easily notice and identify the things throughout our day that we can start doing to fulfill a goal. Let's look at another one. Let's say that you had a goal to spend more time with your family. Your commitments might be, I'm gonna put my phone away at 5 p.m. I'm gonna be more intentional, a better listener. I'm gonna make sure we're showing up together as a family for dinner. Plan an activity after dinner, whether it's a game, a hike, a movie. Now I know what I can do. Versus if I just had the goal to spend more time with my family, I might kind of go about my day the same way. Maybe I get a half hour break in my day and I ask, well, what am I gonna do with my time? Oh, I have this goal. Maybe I'll go check in with my kids, spend a little bit of time with them. Maybe a Saturday rolls around and you're like, what can we do today? Oh, I have this goal. Why don't I take everybody out to dinner tonight? And you are in fact moving closer to that goal, but you see that without the commitments, we actually missed out on a whole bunch of opportunities throughout our day and our week to be more intentional and show up differently and really spend more time with our family. So without the commitments, we're only getting halfway there. And when you think about what your goals are, ask yourself, well, what commitments can I make to fulfill these goals? And you will notice that you start to propel yourself forward much faster.